Dr. Tim, can you share with us some tips on how can we exercise or how can we create some movement to relax our body and get the right posture so that we can you know, work better after that? Absolutely. Um, I think we'll, to keep it simple, we'll break it down to low back and, and upper back. So if you think about your low back, when you are slouching all day like this, your whole weight is a lever and it's squishing the discs at the bottom of your back. And what people don't realize is that your discs in your spine don't have a direct blood supply. They only get their life from movement. So literally, we actually need to move during the day to keep our, our spines alive and our discs fresh. Okay, you know, people as people get older, they, they they lose the thickness of their discs, and it's because they're not moving. So fundamentally, um, moving is important. So just by sitting up, putting a curve in your back, that's opening the discs, sucking the blood, nutrition, oxygen, nutrients into the discs, and then moving sideways, maybe round and round, rolling the pelvis backwards and forwards. This is actually pumping the discs. So the way the spine actually works is with a pumping action. So as you move, you're creating pressure and negative pressure. So there's a pumping action in the disc, that's how it works. So this is how to avoid spinal deconditioning and it's by sitting up and moving. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. sitting on a ball's great, sitting on these uh, balance cushions, great. But if you don't have that, literally sit up and roll the pelvis a few times, mm -hmm. go sideways. And I, I describe it as sitting in an active fashion rather than passive. Passive is when just gravity takes you into this bad position, which is going to make the spine age very quickly. So sit up and keep moving. Okay? So for your upper back, think about your sternum right in there. And it's the breastbone. Think about lifting it. Okay. And, and think about your lungs inside. We want to roll our shoulders back and breathe. Okay? On top of that, we want to bring our head back. So concentrate on lifting the sternum and pulling our head back onto our shoulders. Uh, the head's very heavy, it spends all day like this, and it just ends up hanging on the soft tissues of the neck. We need to bring these back, it's called tone. The muscles should have natural tone that pulls you back into good shape. So you need to practice that on, a, uh, on an hourly basis, really. Um, people, don't get lost in your computer, you need reminders. Any more tips? Because, you know, I think it's important. I really love the okay. tips. Okay, all right. Yeah. This is something that I teach everybody. One, uh, let's go, two things. Simple, th simple things that you can engage in. Firstly, if you're sitting all day, your spine has gone to sleep. Your physiology has gone to sleep. There's probably blood pooling in your ankles. Um, you've, you've probably got, your discs are probably tired. You haven't been breathing properly. So have a ball at home an exercise ball, when you get home, you instead of just collapsing onto the sofa, just pull the ball, the ball out and just have a little bounce on the ball. Watch the TV, bounce on the ball. It's going to bring your spine back to life and it's going to give you a chance of getting through life without, without your spine becoming increasingly more unhealthy. The other thing is, your upper back is in this slouching position all day and um, it becomes very rigid very, very rigid, and the spinal rigidity um, causes all sorts of problems. So we want to open that back, so what we do here is we teach people to use a roller, a foam roller, a simple foam roller. You put it horizontal, you put it in your mid-back, and you extend over it. You spend your whole day in flexion. Flexion is for old people. We don't want to be old, we want to be young. Extension is for young people. So you use a roller in the, in the upper back, Extend over it and it'll be a little bit tender when you start because you've probably got some tightness and stiffness or it's a start of rigidity or it's a start of old man's back or old lady's back. Yeah, we don't want that. We want movement. We want the spine to be soft and su supple. And to do that, we, we can use a roller. It's a, it's a simple thing. For people with text neck. For people with text neck, well, you've got to start lifting, lifting the, 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 the phone um, and, pull, and pull your head back. Just be aware that that is a bowling ball. Now, what, what I do with kids quite often, I make them hold the bowling, a bowling ball and then I, I tell them to hold it there. And after a, literally a few seconds, you can see their eyes popping open as they're, as they're, and their shoulder starts to, to, to quiver. And then I explain to them that this is what's happening in the neck. And if they do get text neck, it, it will become very, very serious. So that's how I demonstrate how important it is to keep the balance, that heavy, heavy head 
on the shoulders. So um, I will keep shouting about this, but uh, unfortunately, uh, people are not mindful enough, and and generally, I'm not. I don't want to say people are lazy. People tend to take the the path of least resistance. People are fatigued. So when you get the phone, and you know they're, they're in this mode rather than this mode, you know. So it, it's about being it's about being engaging in life. It's about being proactive, um, and it's about habits. We create our habits become us. So as a parent, you can ha really help your children grow up to be healthier adults by correcting them. So often that they, they, they instill healthy habits. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much because we learn so much from you. So we have from the younger ones, we have from the working adults, and we have for the elderly or you know getting in age where we need to keep ourselves healthy as well. So you know we hope to learn more from you, and you know for participants out there, for listeners out there. You know, do tune in again to Ilim Chu TV because there's so much more that Dr. Tim is sharing with us. So let's hear from Dr. Tim soon.